Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Meteor Near Zero, Seed of Evil, with me, Bring It Down. So this hunter might be the best next target? It's hard to tell. Maybe not, he's inside that building, so maybe the guy patrolling around in the back there would be the best one. There's also that med bot. Do I have all of my... I say a 20% chance to disable robotic enemy. 50% chance, and this should be a 50% chance. Alright, perfect. So I sell all my EMP attachments. Which are super important for killing robot enemies. Alright, so the hunter... Or no, shaman is patrolling. I can't kill him there because the robot will see. That was another zone dog. Alright, all my mutations off cooldown. Let's have mind control up. Okay. So normally zone dogs patrol. Hmm. I don't actually know how to approach this. They're all overlapping. Alright, I'm going to swap out... I think Pharaoh for ducks real quick. I'll have a lot of chem flares, so I might need to buy some of those. Chem flares are very useful because they're actually a stealth. Um, item you can throw those without aggroing enemies. Spread out. Which is a pretty big deal. So the shaman is the best one to take out. Follow me. Or maybe I do want Pharaoh because I, I don't want to be up there. I know I'm a little indecisive. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to approach the situation right now. Um, Hopefully I figure it out. I could just try mind control. The shaman needs to be killed first, regardless of what I do. So I'm thinking the zone dog, then the med bot, then the shaman. Now obviously, this can get very wrong. Yeah, I think the zone dog is the best, best one to take out first, because they should be able to see him. So that's what we'll do. I want to wait for the shaman to go back inside. I got this. I can't hide on this tree. That's fine. Let's go. Give up now, and I'll go easy on ya. He still has a 35% chance to crit, which is pretty good. Yes. Not the best. Now I can use him to...
twitch shot. Got you. We grow. All right, that works out. The shaman comes over here by himself. We can take him out. Yeah, this will work out. Alright, wait for the shaman to come back this way, take him out. Easy peasy. And the medbot would be the next best one, and then the hunter. I'm the hero, you're the zero. Come get some! Nice critical. percent chance to hit another one all right that's not gonna work out we need to we need to disable him um I did aggro those guys. That's not good. Care unit in love. Injury. Your injuries have been attended to. State further medical needs. Yeah, so I goofed up a little bit. That's okay. Misjudged my damage a little bit. That's also okay. What do we got here? Do you have, you have a smoke grenade? I'm gonna use you to try and disable. Medbot. There's a 50% chance of disabling the medbot and stopping him from picking up this guy. Alright, that works out. Let's figure on loud. I guess it doesn't really matter what I do here. It got a little, uh, a little dangerous there towards the end, but we, hey, over here. we managed it, and our tank took the damage, so. At the end of the day, that's all we ever really want. I don't see... Any more loot. Alright, let's oh, see what's in the chest. Let it be something good. GJP X93 prototype from the Enclave 4. Little else is known about this weapon, just that it has the power to disable metal men. Destroy covers and EMP bullets. So is it guaranteed to disable them? Hmm. I give him Eagle Eye, which I will probably never do. Wait, did his uh, thing go off? I think smoke came out of him when he got shot.
Regardless, that's his last um, thingamajig. All right. Yes, yeah, so they've added four artifacts. I've overdone there, I think. I'm a little concerned about Borman. He has a pretty low health right now. But it's okay. So we found Big Khan. It is you. The legendary stock of Big Khan. You left the Ark a long time ago to wander the zone. Thought you were dead. Alive and kicking, stalkers. It's been a long time, hasn't it? But maybe you're not who you say you are, huh? Maybe. You're some of those damn imposters trying to trap Big Khan. There's only one Pharaoh, and that's me. And I'm pretty sure my friends are the real deal. What's got you so shaken up? I've walked from one end of this wasteland to the other, seen some shit you rookies wouldn't believe. I don't fear nothing. Until now, something strange is going on all across the zone. Ghouls are disappearing and getting replaced by copies. But they're made out of plants. I call them pod ghouls. This ain't the zone fumes talking, all right? I'm on my way to the Ark to warn the Elder. So, if you'd excuse me. A lot's happened since you've been away, Khan. The Ark's got problems of its own right now. We're on a mission to capture Goran, a renegade mutant with the power to control plants. He could be behind these pod ghouls you're talking about. We could use your skills. You still the legend they say you are. Oh, I got skills for days, believe that. I remember Goran. He was a punk. Let me think his pals were that strong. Okay, I'll help. Stalkers got each other's backs, right? What happens to you happens to me. All right, so we got Big Khan, King of the Forest. I really like his design. Does he have mutations? I can upgrade. We have 30 points to use. All right, so he has Circuit Breaker. He also has Sneak. Okay. Gunslinger's really good. Ground Pound. Air effect knocks over enemies and destroys cover. Smash the ground beneath your feet, releasing a mighty shockwave that destroy covers and knock back, knock down any enemies unlucky enough to be within the blast radius. Flame puke. Spray flames over your enemies. Normally, in case of extreme heartburn or cause for concern, however, your volatile gastric fluids are a boon. So you can now spew forth any night a gob full of flammable bile that will engulf your enemies in flames. Oh, and he gets increased critical. Okay. I'm gonna focus on getting him some critical because we already have enough uh, stuff for him currently um, to fill out all of his slots. Okay. Well, this works out. Now, I do kind of want to head back to the Ark and get the other crossbow. Because the crossbow is better than the, um... ...thing that Borman has equipped. So let's do that real quick. If I can afford it. Where's the arc at? Arc? Let's see H. Oh, I see it. Never mind, it's right there. This, I think it's better than what Borman currently has. So if I go to... 
Now, of course, it has to be upgraded. Let me compare well, it. Well, well. Bacon is not only alive, he's as handsome as ever. Quite the moose, isn't he? We were stalkers together. Shame what happened, blaming himself for the death of his team, banishing himself to wander the zone and penance. He should realize people hurt the ones they love all the time. That's how the zone works, doesn't it? Right, can I afford it? 240, yeah, I can. Let me compare. I. So fully upgraded crossbow, 7, 10, 40. Okay, and if I go to. So crit damage is lower, but the base damage is the same. Range 13. Range 10. Oh, really? It has less range? Maybe I'll just keep it the way it is then. Though that one extra crit damage could come in handy. Yeah, so I think I'll save... Our money for now, our scrap. All right, back here. So we got another party member. Um, I thought he was gonna be tankier than he was. I was under the impression he was gonna be very tanky. Now, granted, he's not done being leveled up. He's got that sweet crit, which is fantastic. Support. Oh, and Borman also just has health. We'll keep him on standby, I guess. Uh, does he start with any armor or anything? No. Oh wow, he starts at level 3 Rambino. Okay. We're not going to use him for right now. Uh, we'll try him out for sure in the future. So if you hear me adjust my headsets, because there's a hair in my headset, it's like poke me right into my ear hole. All right, see an enemy up ahead. No, well, assuming it's an enemy. Whoa. Pod Destroyer, there's something out there. Alright, he patrols, perfect. He's got two armor. Lay down your weapons. Give up the Didn't mean to interrupt him. Is everything off cooldown? I kinda put Corpse Eater on him so he can... So it doesn't really matter. He's got 26 health with armor. I don't know if we can take him out. All right, we're gonna have to use a skill, which is fine. Ask your hurt. I mean, twitch shot might be enough. Don't stay away from me. Oh, holy crap, he explodes. Okay, I did not know that.
No, all right, no, we're not. We're not gonna fight all these guys. We're gonna reload that. Holy crap! Okay, so we know the destroyers explode. We gotta save them for last. Lesson learned. <laughs> all right, uh, big con still in our party. He should be. Yeah. All right. Let's try this again. There's a jumper. A rooter. He would be the easiest first kill. Now, is he overlapping? Lay down your weapons. Give up the fight. Soon, you will be a part of me. We are going to be together. Connected. No more fear. I'm hoping one of these guys starts patrolling after they're done talking. Doesn't seem to be the case. Well, that's a little disappointing. I still better take him out without uh, aggroing anybody. I am gonna save before I do it though, because I don't trust myself. She's wipe. It's Pharaoh. Nope. Yeah, see, that's not good. That's not good. We can't finish him now. So something about this game is the rolls that you see. Uh, so I just took that 75% shot from right there. If I were to take that 75% shot again, it's guaranteed to miss. All the rolls are pre-rolled when you load into an area. Uh, so I'd have to try a different approach entirely uh, to killing that guy. Doesn't bode well. All right, let's try to take the guy out and up in the uh, the house then. Cause then we'll get the we can use the uh, hide advantage. So the best way to do this is when he patrols back to the other side. We might be able to climb up here without getting spotted.
And once he gets back up here, we'll just go ahead and ambush him. Not what I meant to do. Not what I meant to do. Son of a gun. Alright, hold on. I wanted to switch to Magnus, because I like to save Borman for last, because he has the crowd control effects. Uh, hog rush and everything so he's he's good to save for your last turn so if you can't finish him off you can well it's not hog rush it's spare smash now ah it's so frustrating all right because i don't think there's a way to oh shift that's right tab cycles you left to right through your companions uh shift is right to left oh man i'm struggling this morning Alright, he comes back over here, we'll kill him, and then we'll uh, go on about our business. I am the beautiful weapon. That's from me. Nice little critter rolly. Perfect. And all three crits. One. Done. Come on. Fantastic. Alright, so now we have this Ruder we gotta worry about, who I think we can take out without aggroing the other guy regardless. So let's go ahead and do that. We just have to make sure we land those hits. Um, I might change the ducks, actually. For the bonus to height, or height to crit bonus. Also, you can level up. All right, a little bit of health. And Sela might be just as good. Stay put. Sorry, we'll put him up here. I don't know if he can hit from here or what his chance of hitting from here is. That's pretty good. You don't know who you're messing with. That was awesome. We grew. All right, we take out this burner, then we take out the demolisher, and then we're set. Okay, spread out. Let's actually put him back up here. Can't see it from there. 
you can tell if you can see him from there or not if he has the option to ambush. So we're gonna swap ducks back out for Magnus real quick. I'm gonna start the ambush with him. I'm the hero, you're the zero. Really, the 75% chances uh, are not um, are not good. I should be guaranteeing these shots. This guy is the Demolisher. We know how this is going to go. I can go loud as well. I don't need to worry about suppression. We also got to make sure we're not close to him when we kill him. Because uh, he, he explodes. So what we do is we'll kill him right there. <laughs> I love the knockback effect. Alright, and then uh, let's see. He's gonna go boom. Join up. Take a closer look at these goons. They're bleeding something that looks like moss mixed with leaves. Alright. Let's loot everything real quick and we'll call it an episode. So they have blew up the ladder. Oh no, it's over here. So we don't need to go this way, so it takes us to a dead end, but that's where we'll go next episode, I think. In the meantime, let's just uh, take what we can. There are more enemies over here. I'm gonna go clear these guys out in the next episode. Instead of going to the next zone. I only see the dog. Typical ancients. Creating weird looking shit like this. Like some steel elephant. All right, so yeah, I think that's what we'll do in the next episode. We'll finish clearing out this area, and then we'll probably head east instead of, or sorry, west instead of northwest.
The zone smog is thick in this area and is yet to clear and reveal its secrets. Worth a look if you want death or glory. Well, I do want death or glory, so. Alright, gonna call it here. Next episode, we'll do that. We'll kill the zone dog, finish looting this zone, and then uh, go west towards the unexplored location. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode.